Hey guys, I am back with part five in the final installment to 18 ways to be unstoppable. Today I'm sharing the final three ways you want to catch the first 15, go back and watch parts one through four. Today, we're going to talk about lift people up, don't tear them down, understanding the journey to success, and also know what to do when you get punched in the face in business. Obviously, that one is inevitable. The first one we're going to share about is lift people up instead of tearing them down. Now, the majority of people operate from this scarcity mentality and enjoy supporting and mentoring people until they feel threatened that that person might actually become their competition. I want you to always remember that when you pull people up to where you're at, there is a number of things that also support your success. When you're willing to freely share the information and what you know, it actually shows confidence and security in what you do and with what you do. Tearing people down is driven by insecurity, similar to being a mindset of gratitude. The behavior of lifting people up embraces the mindset of abundance, expands your belief system to see potential opportunities everywhere around you. When you operate from this place of abundance, you are able to see that helping other people, even if they're in the same industry as you, does does not limit your success, it actually helps you and you can share the success around. It's also important to remember that when you empower others in their success, that that's something that they always are going to remember. While you're never actually wanting anything in return, often support comes back to you tenfold with reciprocity. And most of the time, the people that you support, they're likely to give you future referrals and they're always going to be remembered in their lives. So I want you to also keep in mind that this also goes in how you talk about other people. Even with the most well-intentioned people have the tendency to sometimes get sucked in to gossip when they're around other people. The reason why is gossip is so tempting because we crave connection with another human being and gossip is the quickest and easiest ways to do that but in reality this type of connection is nothing compared to real authentic connection ultimately if you start to speak negatively about someone else with another person they'll start to question what you're saying about them when they're not around so lift people up and support them whenever possible. It's deeply gratifying. You know it's so good to help people. It's giving a gift. We always feel best. And it adds to your success. And that you can show that you can spread the love. There's yes, there's scientific benefits to helping others. It makes you happier. It actually is great for your health. It gives you a sense of purpose and meaning. And if you ever do find yourself resisting helping others and sharing what you know in support of others' success, it's time to look within yourself and see what doesn't feel secure. Why don't you feel secure? Why are these insecurities popping up? And it's time to move past them and help others to get their success too. Next one we're going to talk about is it's so important that you find your success through the journey and stop seeing it as a destination. Most people have what I call destination addiction. It's an obsession, an addiction to saying, I'll be happy when, or I'll feel successful when I achieve this goal or reach a certain milestone. You know, like I used to think to myself, I'll be happy when I get one gym. I'll be successful when I get four. And then I shifted it to 12 and then I shifted it to 20. Now with this, more likely than not, that you were just like me and once you reach those goals many times over you've replaced them with these new milestones and what happens is when it becomes about the destination the cycle just keeps repeating itself you reach your goal you're happy for a day or so and then when you notice the feeling quickly fades you replace it with this new destination you start seeking that which leads to unfulfillment and you have to try and change out of this you're going to transition yourself to seeing just the journey itself as being the success. It's simply a matter of shifting your perspective. Just as you would do a daily gratitude practice, you can look at it as a daily success practice or a daily happiness practice every single day. This allows you to start feeling all the things that you want to feel and experience in your life, but you're going to start feeling them right now. And you've got to admit that this whole destination addiction that we all get craved and sucked into, it's not really working out for you well anyway. So you really have nothing to lose, but give this a try. I want you to find ways 
place to build daily success practice, listing your wins or getting a certain amount of points and finding ways that you can find fun and joy in the small day-to-day activities and winning the process every single day because the process is the journey and the journey is what actually makes you happy. It's who you're becoming along the way. And remember, you love being challenged. You're an entrepreneur and you're always looking for and wanting more. So find ways to find joy and satisfaction with what you have, what you currently have right now, whilst also pursuing the next bigger and better thing. Last but not least, I'll call this one, know what to do when you get punched in the face. Now, here in business, there's a lot of things that can come out of nowhere when you're running a business, and I have a few best practices that are going to help you be prepared when the unexpected occurs. I always think the best way you can prepare yourself is with your mindset. If you can prepare your mind and your thoughts to understand that mistakes and challenges are going to come, and it's just how you deal with them that matters, you will become more resilient and be able to bounce back so much more quickly. You can move out of being victimhood into victor. So many people get punched in the face with an obstacle, with a challenge, with a mistake, and they go into the woe is me, they start to blame, they start to make excuses, they start to justify why they can't achieve their results. But with this, you need to take ownership. You need to take accountability. You need to take responsibility. You need to step up instead of step down. I want you to look at trying to have a bit of emergency fund because there's always going to be, I need that $5,000 in business or I need that $10,000 in business. Depends on where you're at is how big you need this emergency fund to be. But having this will reduce stress and allow you to actually push forward with the risks that you need to take. The next one is, I want you to have some form of customer, diverse customer base. It's not putting all your eggs in one basket saying, oh, if I lose this one customer, I'm going to lose half my income. No, diversify your customer base. If one person leaves, it's okay. It's not going to bring your whole business down. The one I talk to all the time is with businesses, your cash flow. You need to be on top of your cash flow. How much profit do you have in your margins? Is your marketing self-liquidating? Is your payroll on top? Are you okay with your GST? Are you okay with all this? Have your cash flow in place. Make sure you're getting someone to help you out with this if you're not the best at it. With all your digital assets, make sure they're backed up so you don't lose your business overnight. It's so crucial. I want you to try and find this place between the what ifs. It's like I tell this even with clients with fat loss. If she hits the fan, what if this happens, then I do this. You know, if I lose two customers, then I will. If Facebook marketing doesn't work, then I will. If I need to find 5K, then I will. And with the 5K, guys, if you do need to find that, you want to write down because all of a sudden you go into stress, you go into overdrive, cortisol increases, your creativity shuts off. Instead, I want you to think calmly, breathe for two to three minutes, just in for three or in for four, out for six. Take a slow, deep breath out. Push yourself into that state where you can start to, you know, be creativity again. Like it doesn't have to be the right answer, but it's like, if I had to find five ways to make 5K, what would it be? And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they are. Just get something on paper. If I need to find five ways to make 5K right now, what would it be? And you just keep asking yourself that question. And then you write down the answers. You let the creativity go out through pen to paper. Write it down. Don't type it out. Write it down. Because guys, the if then when scenarios is what going to get you through the obstacles with the correct mindset. And with this guys, business is about taking calculated risks as always to make sure that you consider the flip side to the risk. You want to always go, the grass is green. You want to go like, okay, if this goes bad, what would happen? And then go back to knowing that this is the obstacle and this is the challenge. What we call this is whoop. I have my wish. I have my outcome. I have my obstacle and I have my plan to overcome this obstacle if it ever arises. And knowing this, you can go forward with this calculated risk, knowing if shit hits the fan, you know what to do. You know how to take the leap. You know how to jump the hurdle. And instead of only seeing the potential loss, you also see the potential upside. And if the loss does come, you know what to do. And that is what happens when you get punched in the face. You must be the eternal optimist. You must understand there are obstacles. You must understand you are in business. And you must understand that you are ready for the obstacle. You are ready for the challenge. It's not what happens to you. It's how you react to it is what makes the difference. And that's how you become unstoppable.
And I hope you've enjoyed this five-part series on the 18 ways to become unstoppable. You can check them out on my Instagram TV channel. You can check them out on YouTube. And uh, any comments, guys, just you know, post them below. I'd love to hear what you have to say.